It's easy to think that buildings, especially the landmark civic buildings that stand watch over our streets, are permanent, that they will be a part of our towns and cities forever. Sadly, history tells us that this simply isn't true, and even the most distinctive, historically or culturally important buildings, whether they're built from wood or stone or steel or concrete, can disappear at any time, leaving only the empty space they once occupied. It could be natural disaster, conflict, or just the onward march of progress that tears a building down, but once it's been demolished, there remains no way to ever experience its architecture in the physical world ever again. It is gone, and the memories that once lived within its walls evaporate into the ether. It was in the name of progress that the city of Sunderland chose to shut and tear down its council headquarters, the Civic Centre, in 2022, to be replaced with an unremarkable estate of new houses. Sunderland Civic Centre first opened in 1970, replacing the previous town hall of 1890, and was designed by Basil Spence in the contemporary modernist style an optimistic, forward-looking lodestar for a modern 20th century town. The main office building comprised two interlocking hexagonal blocks adjoining a multi-level car park to the north side and the grand council chamber to the south. The finished building was a true landmark and deservingly won a variety of prestigious architectural awards. But in the late 2010s, like its predecessor before it, the Civic Centre was deemed no longer fit for purpose. Sunderland had become a city, and the ageing building was becoming expensive to maintain, so the glassy new City Hall was built nearer the river, and the Civic Centre was slated for demolition and redevelopment. Along with many others, this saddened me I like modernist architecture, and I was always fond of the Civic Centre's character. So, right at the end of 2021, I decided to visit the now empty building with my camera to preserve what I could of it on 35mm film. The camera I chose for this was the Holger 135, which I'd had since university. It's a very cheaply made thing, entirely plastic and the photos it takes are technically terrible, prone to uneven and soft focus, unpredictable vignetting and random light leaks. But because of this, I've always believed that the images it creates gain a certain timelessness, an almost paint-like quality. And since what I wanted most was to capture something of the intangible soul of this building before it disappeared, I thought this would be the ideal tool to have in my hands. And so, I set off for Sunderland. Lift up your eyes. See, the architect's hand gives form to civic pride from merest shape and line. Industriousness drawn in symbolic geometry. Municipality enclosed obtusely in courtyards open to northern skies. The faces of this place tessellate its patterns fractalize, its russet bricks immortalized. Cross between the colonnades, ascend these steps, and enter into stately atria, ceremonial suites, chambers of congregation open to every citizen. 
this restless hive, this once new nucleus of a town coming in bloom. See, a community looks to the future filled with formless pride and lifts up its eyes.